Hello everyone, my name is Serena and I'm a third year student in computational mathematics and welcome to the uh, computational mathematics pick your plan video and today we're here with the advisor Sarah so Sarah if we can introduce yourself a little bit. Hello my name is Sarah O'Donnell I'm one of the advisors for computational math and I'm happy to be here. Yeah uh, to, so to start off I would like to have some introduction on the program so Sarah can you describe what computational mathematics is about? Yes, in a nutshell, computational math is about solving math problems using computers. In slightly more detail, we take a real life problem that we want to solve. So for example, a company wants to reduce the costs of business. We formulate it into a mathematical problem. We find methods for solving such a problem so then it's efficient to do so with a computer. Yeah, so before students choose computational mathematics as their major, um, is there anything that you wish students would know beforehand? Good question. So computational math is an umbrella term for a lot of different areas of math. Sometimes it's also known as scientific computation or numeric computation. It takes bits and pieces from computer science, combinatorics and optimization, statistics and applied mathematics. Students who study computational math will often have fundamental skills for several of these areas because the core courses are building your strengths in those areas. But they should also try to specialize in another area. So the other courses that you need to take, they might be able to specialize in statistics, for example, for the upper year courses that they have to take. Um, another thing that's really important to know is that there's a lot of math involved. So even though we have the word computers in it, it's not um, a programming degree like computer science. We ask computers to do all the solving work, but the prep work for getting there is all mathematics. So you'll need a solid understanding of fundamental math that you learn from first and second year. Um, and you'll extensively use them in your upper year courses as well. And then the final thing, because I get a lot of questions about it, I think it would be good to share with the audience is that even though we have CS major courses like CS 240 and CS 241 that are listed in the calendar as being um, an option for computer computational mathematics students. Um, it's only students that are in computer science and doing that as a major that can actually take those courses. So if you're in computational mathematics and that's your only major, then you would have to take courses like CS 230 and CS 234. So I think it's good to clear that up because that's a common question that we get, Serena. Yeah. Uh, so my next question for you would be, um, what do you love about computational mathematics? Like, what is exciting about this field? This is a fantastic question. So I'm not a mathematician myself, but I do find one of the great things about computational math is that it has such a wide range of applications and they're changing with how the world changes as well. So everything is up to the minute and it's really exciting because there's so many ways that you could do things. So for example, companies are always trying to create efficiencies and that's one of the skills that you're going to have if you choose this major. Data is constantly being being created and analyzed to make sense of it. So that's also another thing that's um, really up to the minute and current. And there's also new ways of applying the knowledge that are being discovered. So it's really dynamic and it's really exciting. And I also like that it can be applied to things that we see day to day. So for example, for those students that might watch a lot of Netflix, the algorithms that are done behind the scenes to make you, hey, you watch this show and maybe you would like this show. That's all because of data analysis and that's skills that you would learn in the computational mathematics program. So that's one of the reasons that I find it really exciting, Serena. Sounds really good. Um, uh, so as a co-op student, I feel like the next question is really important to me at least. So what types of careers can be pursued with this major? This is a really good question and it's a common question that I get asked from students. There's two parts that, that I would answer this question. The first thing is, I think it's about creating what you want to set your path for. So what are you going to be interested in? And then tailoring your course choices for what your interests and what your strengths lie in. So for example, um, some students will take the software skills that they learn in the program and pursue software development. A student 
with an emphasis on optimization can pursue jobs in operations research or logistics, manufacturing, that type of thing. A student with an emphasis on statistics can pursue jobs in data analysis. And there's also some students that have been successful in the finance industry as well. So there's a real range of um, possible jobs. And I think it's more, what are you wanting to do with the degree and then choose your co courses accordingly. And I think that's also a, a way to use your non-math courses. So for example, there's project management courses that you can take. Um, there's courses about interacting in the workforce. So there's many ways that you can create what will help you get the career that you want with the computational math program. Yeah, so you have mentioned a lot about taking CS courses, CO courses and stats courses as a part of the computational mathematics requirements. So how is computational mathematics different from those programs, different from CS, CO and statistics? This is a good question. I do get it a lot that students are asking what the differences between the programs are. And I think what's important to understand of computational math is it's an interdisciplinary program. So it does have similarities with those programs that you mentioned because it covers a subset of those subjects. So for example, for computer science, the relevant parts that you cover in computational math are algorithms and the computational aspects of hardware and software. For combinatorics and optimization, the most relevant parts are the optimization and also to a degree the cryptography as well. From the statistics part, data analysis would be the relevant part. So if you're doing a computational math degree, you're doing elements of those areas, but the emphasis is not on that. So for example, let's pretend that a student is thinking of computational mathematics, but not, might not be really interested in statistics and prefers other areas, they can choose their courses accordingly so they wouldn't have to take any more statistics courses than the required course statistics courses for all students. Thank you so much Serena I'm looking forward to speaking with the students that are interested in computational math and helping you on your journey.